I'm Dan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. An upgrade to speech services by Google is rolling out to 64-bit Android devices via the Google Play Store over the next few weeks, providing clearer, more natural voices. All 421 voices in 67 languages are being upgraded with a new voice model and synthesizer. Head on over to the post for more on this update, including demonstrations of some of the voice upgrades, along with guidance on how to use text-to-speech in your projects. We announced that Firebase app distribution is now generally available. App distribution can streamline your testing workflow by helping you simplify your tester and group management, ensure testers test the right version of your app, and automate your testing workflow with CI slash CD. The blog post has lots more detail on features, including bulk tester management, the Firebase app distribution Android SDK and iOS SDK, and using the Firebase CLI or Fastlane to automatically distribute releases. We introduced the preview of Log Analytics, a new set of features in cloud logging that brings entirely new capabilities to search, aggregate, or transform logs at query time with a new user experience that's optimized for analyzing logs data through the power of BigQuery. Head over to the post for lots more detail, including how teams throughout your organization can take advantage of these new capabilities. We released the Chrome 107 beta, which includes the interpolation of grid template properties, privacy-preserving screen sharing controls, and wildcards in permission policy origins. The post has lots more detail, including information on new origin trials, such as the declarative pending Beacon API. We released the Lyra V2 speech codec to open source with a new architecture that enjoys wider platform support, provides scalable bitrate capabilities, has better performance, and generates higher quality audio. Lyra V2 is based on an end-to-end -end neural audio codec called SoundStream, which has a residual vector quantizer sitting before and after the transmission channel, which allows changing the bitrate of Lyra V2 at any time by selecting the number of quantizers to use, enabling you to choose a bitrate most suitable for your network condition and quality requirements. Head over to the post to learn more, including examples of the improvements to generated audio at different bit rates. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.